Landing a helicopter on the deck of a ship or ocean platform requires the perfect marriage of pilot skill and training, together with responsive technology. But add in the elements of a bad storm, high seas, fog, rain, wind and sea spray, and a routine landing maneuver can quickly turn dangerous, as pilots may need to make numerous approaches in their attempt to land. The Institute of Helicopter Technology um, has a lot of knowledge and uh, bandwidth of possibilities like to simulate uh, real outside conditions, which means we can integrate into the rotorcraft simulations real-world conditions like these bad weather conditions, for example. They are developing solutions to make it safer for pilots to execute approaches and landings on ships, even in the most dangerous and challenging situations. On the open seas, there are generally few fixed points of visual reference to guide pilots. As a result, pilots are frequently forced to switch their focus from the landing target, the ship's deck, to glance at the cockpit instrument panel. The system itself is a so-called image-based detector detecting system, which means like I'm detecting the ship landing zone um, image-based and this position is then presented to the eyes of the pilot in an augmented reality, which means like you have a see-through HMD uh, wearing on, where you can see your landing deck through the fog or, or in the night. Maylene has worked with experienced Navy test pilots. The goal? To apply national and international standards to determine what information the pilots need available to execute a safe approach. He then developed appropriate icons for every phase of the landing process. The coordinated icons are automatically displayed in the visor during the corresponding flight phase. This software can also use imaging data to automatically detect the ship's deck and visualize the ideal approach, which resembles a kind of 3D slide, in the display. The pilot-fitted symbology was tested now in about three test campaigns to uh, evaluate um, the symbology, for example, in the end. The next stage of development, this innovative pilot assistance tool will be tested by pilots working in a wide range of flight ops scenarios. The results will then be used to make further optimizations to the system.